This guide has been produced to support the parents of Key Stage 3 students at Bishop Rawstone Church of England Academy in interpreting the Year 7 to 9 tracking reports that they will receive three times a year. In addition to explaining how we will record students' progress against their targets uh, and how students are progressing in relation to their attitude to learning in lessons and in home study, it will also explain how targets are set using the new Assessment Without Levels framework of Bishop Rawstone and how this is likely to equate to GCSE progression going forward. At Key Stage 3, achievement in all subjects at Bishop Rawstone is measured across four assessment bands. They are Foundation, Intermediate, Higher and Advanced at the very highest level and this applies to all subject areas. Each student is given a target band in each subject and this is based primarily on prior attainment at Key Stage 2. This table shows how the old style A star to G GCSE system equates to the new number system GCSE grades 9 to 1. GCSE grades from 2017 will be graded at 9 to 1 in Mathematics and English and in all other subjects from 2018. Roughly speaking, a student who in the past would have expected to achieve somewhere between a G to a C grade at GCSE would now be expected to achieve somewhere between a grade 1 to 4 through to an AA star grade now being graded at an 8 or a 9 using the number system. Based on prior attainment we are able to project a student's likely GCSE grade in every subject. So a student who historically we would expect to achieve a grade C or B would now be expected to achieve a grade 4 or 5. A student with this type of target at GCSE would be given a Key Stage 3 target of Intermediate. Once a student has been given their Intermediate target, this will continue to be used for Years 7, 8 and 9. The expectations of Year 8 Intermediate content and success criteria is obviously at a higher level than Year 7 Intermediate content and then from Year 8, the Year 9 Intermediate content again move students on preparing them for their expected GCSE potential grade of a 4 or 5. So a student who is tracked as being intermediate in year 7 and then year 8 and then year 9 is making at least good progress. By meeting the expectations of the year 7 intermediate criteria then the year 8 and then the year 9 assessment criteria they are in a position where they should be on track to at least achieve their projected 4 or 5 at GCSE, if not higher than that. There will be cases where a student is actually more than meeting what is expected of them on their intermediate attainment band and in this situation it is possible that they will begin to be assessed actually against the higher attainment band so a student, say in year 8, could be exceeding the expectations of the intermediate scheme and begin to be tracked uh, at year 8 higher and hence they are clearly above target. This could of course work the other way where a student is struggling to meet the expectations of the uh, intermediate content and instead is assessed against foundation attainment band instead. This student would obviously be seen as under target. So on this year 9 tracking report, so on this year 9 autumn tracking report you can see the students targets in each subject area. So for instance in English they have an intermediate target uh, and in mathematics a higher target and in the next column you can see the teachers prediction for the student for the end of that year for each subject. 
So taking English as an example, the student has a target of intermediate and the teacher is currently predicting that the student actually should be working at the higher level by the end of year nine based on how they are currently progressing. So this student is in autumn at least above target. In mathematics the student has a higher target and the teacher is predicting that they'll be working at the top end of the higher attainment band. This is signified by the H+. Plus. The student is shown as being on target in autumn and the H plus is an indication to parent and student that there is potential for this student to even push on further and maybe move on to the next attainment band of advanced. You can see here in science the student is predicted to be at higher negative by the end of year 9. This means they're still on target as they have a higher target but this is an indication to parent and student that they are currently at risk of possibly slipping below the expectations of the higher attainment band and could possibly drop into intermediate level at the next round of tracking without some intervention and additional work. If we then look at the next round of tracking in spring you can see that the students have the same target as they had at the start of year 9 but their end of year predictions in some subjects may have been changed. You can see in the left hand columns how students progress has developed from one round of tracking to the next. So for instance in mathematics the student was on target so must have been predicted to be meeting the higher attainment band but as they've now moved up to the advanced level they are now above target. In science the student with a higher target in autumn was on target but now they are below target as they're now being predicted to be working at the intermediate level. The tracking progress against target columns will show a rolling three termly progress for students across all their subjects. The two right hand columns are also a very important indicator to students and parents of uh, how the student is progressing in each subject area and these show the student's attitude to learning in terms of their attitude to learning within lesson and their attitude to learning with regards homework and independent study which is the far right hand column. So here for this student's spring tracking you can see that in terms of English at least their attitude to learning within lessons is seen to be outstanding and their attitude to homework and home study is good. In science their attitude to learning in lessons is below expectation and in relation to homework and home study there are serious concerns and this probably explains why the student is currently tracked as being below target in spring. These attitude to learning grades for homework and for attitude in lessons are explained on the rear of the student tracker report.